Hello, it's me again. Um, so it is what, 9.30ish? I just iced my last cake for the weekend. I have to decorate still, but I do have the icing on it. And then I have a couple of cupcake orders to do once I'm done with those. So I'm definitely down, winding down for the night, which is great. Um, there's a lot of weekends. At this point, I still have two to three cakes, plus two to three cupcake orders. So I lucked out this weekend, but I really tried hard this week to get all of my prep work done as to the best of my ability. In other words, everything obviously was already baked. Um, and I already had my simple syrup made up to put on all my cakes. I had all my fillings made. I had um, my cookies, you know, baked and flooded already, so I tend to decorate them today. I had um, all my fondant things that could be made ahead of time, like the sloth topper, things like that. I had them done ahead of time. So all those things make a huge difference when it comes to a Friday. So um, when I had the storefront, that was really hard to do because it meant during the beginning of the week, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, when I knew I didn't have to be there late, I was still staying, trying to get those things done for Friday. Because if not, then I was screwed on a Friday. And I had help, I wasn't the only decorator by any amount of the imagination. However, there's so many other things to get done, and if we got behind on our prep work, it, made, it just would kill us on a Friday. And so, now that I'm home, that is one of the benefits, is that I don't feel weird about coming in here at 10 o'clock at night Especially during the school year, kids are already in bed, we're wound down for the day. It's not a big deal for me to come in here, pop my earbuds in, put in a good audiobook, and make fondant figures or whatever it is I have to make. So it really, really is important. If you, any of you are even considering doing anything like this or even on, even on a smaller scale, it makes a huge difference to do any prep work that you can ahead of time. And remember, you can always make icing a week ahead and refrigerate it. Um, I only make mine probably three or four days ahead because I go through it pretty fast. Um, but like right now, I made the rounds that I made this week, I still have two buckets that I haven't even opened yet and they're going to remain in the refrigerator. And that's, that'll be what I use Monday and Tuesday because I have a few orders due on Tuesday, so that's what I'll use. So it really does pay to be a little bit ahead of the game. And I'm very much happy that I'm ahead of the game today because yesterday I dropped my kids off um, at their mammals. And I was broke for the weekend. And so I don't have to deal with any angry teenagers tonight who don't want to do their chores or who want to stay up late. I can be done with this and go put on my flannel pants and watch Netflix, which is what I plan to do. <laughs> so, but I wanted to give you a reality check. I think some people, and I don't know that any of you think this, but I think a lot of people who watch cake decorators on TV or on YouTube assume that everything is done so perfectly or that their workspace is so organized and it's so pretty and all the sprinkles. No. I'm an organized person. I'm a clean person. But when it comes to this, there's only so much that I can keep clean. If you were to take the time to completely wipe down every table between every order and put away all your piping bags and all your sprinkles between every order, you would add so many hours onto your day. And when I say clean, I don't mean that it's not sanitized and clean. It is. But I just mean there's no point in putting up all the icing after every cake. There's not, it's just not, you'd waste so much time. So I wanted to show you, I can't believe I'm showing this on camera, um, after almost a full day of decorating, what my cake room looks like. Now, this is a small space. This is my dining room that we had closed to make my cake room about a year and a half ago when I moved back home from the storefront. This used to be open and there were no, there was only one wall in here. And now, of course, it's completely closed in to keep... Uh, we have a dog to keep our dog and our children and honestly us from elbowing a cake or touching something we shouldn't be touching. So this room, I'm the only person really that comes in here. It is, you know, cleaned every night, swept, mopped, everything wiped down, sanitized. But right now you would not know it. So I'm gonna start with I'm showing you this. Okay. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and you're gonna see some of the cakes I finished today, but I'm not gonna keep the camera on there very much because I don't want you to see too much of the detail. Um, let's see. Okay, so those are not real cakes, so don't get too impressed. Those are cake dummies that I use for cake shows. So look at, there's all my cake boards, and this is a big table I have. On the top, it has some cake boards up there. It has those little measuring cups you see there are colored, like, white chocolate to use, like, to dip cake pops in things. Then I've got my rolling pins. Here's all my food coloring, and look at all those piping bags full of icing. Those are ones I've used all day today, and they just sit there. There's my paper towels, my Viva, 
I'm gonna lend you an icing bucket. I've got tips and tools that I've already used that need to be put up. A very full trash can. Under here I've got boxes and paper towels and tools. And then, there's the new barn door we hung last year. So there's my wedding cake and groom's cake and another cake and that has, you know, my flour, sugar, and extra mixers. And then here gets the real bad part. There's more cake dummies. These are all sprinkles, you all. All the way down that shelf. There's a lot of sprinkles. And this is my little handy dandy cart. It has all of my tap dusts and powders and piping bags and tools and fondant pieces and scrapers. And then I've got cooling racks. That's where all my cookies are sitting that are cooled for that or that Transylvania order plus the giveaway. Those are all on there. That's where I keep fondant pieces that are drying down here. This normally has cakes on it, but I've used them all. And I even have a little nook over here with my cookie cutters and my fan because I burn it up. And then the table behind me, just a big like island type table, has more tools. The bucket of icing I'm currently using, spatulas, whatever. So, it's not attractive. Oh, and the table I'm using now, I forgot that. This is the actual table I actually work on. Now, I, I can use any surface, but this is the one I tend to use. I'm short, so I don't like a real high table. And so this has like a block under there, vodka for painting, powdered sugar. There's a cake I'm working on and my current like scraper and smoother and my fondant mat. And there's some of the cakes. I'll do a quick sweep of what I've done today. So, it's not attractive, people. It's not attractive. And I'll also, I'll try to get it back on here later after I'm completely done with everything and I'm boxing things up to you so you can see it all put away. It's still a tight space, but it's still, it's like the best feeling on a Friday to be done and see all the cakes boxed up, all the piping bags put away, all the icing put away and all the counters wiped off and it just makes me feel so good to know it's all done. So I, that's the best thing in the world. So let's see who's on here. Hey Tammy, Mikey, Melissa, am I tired? Um, yeah. So I hit about 12 hours. What time is it again? 9.40? I'm right at 12 hours right now. So, yes, I'm tired. But this is nothing. Like, there's been times 3 o'clock in the morning easily comes around. And by then, you, that's when you cry. Because you're so tired. And you can't get the icing smooth. And you cry. Just because you're tired. But no, I'm, I'm okay. I'm tired, but I'm not exhausted yet. So, that's good. Um, Mikey, it's not that bad. Is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. It is bad. It's pretty messy. But it's very, I guess what I, what drives me crazy is it's cluttery. You know, I've got like the fondant and the cookie cutters and, but you have to put it somewhere. And I tried having it all in like uh, totes and bins and everything was labeled. But then you had to pull everything out, pull the lid off the tote and the bin, put it back. No, I'd rather have it look a little bit cluttery and accessible than dig through everything every time I need it. So this is, this is what it is. Um, so anyway. Yes, this is, this is what it is. If you're only one person, you only need this much space. This is a, what I call a one butt kitchen. There is no way two people can come in here. Um, my mom helps me with the baking sometimes and if she has to come in here to get food coloring or sprinkles, she gets so aggravated because she's like, oh my gosh, cause you have to like weave your way through the tables. Um, but it works for me, so hey. Um, what else? I don't know. I think about it. So my, my apron is now covered in powdered sugar and different colors, but I've been listening to a really good audio book all day. Um, I'm a big podcast person, so I've had a lot of podcasts going on in my head, and that also makes a huge difference because I can zone out. So if it is a cake that I don't really need to concentrate on, so like if I'm just icing a cake anymore, I don't have to sit there and think about that that much, so I can just do it without thinking about it. So it really does help to have something else in my head to kind of keep me from going, oh, how many cakes is this? Am I on number 10? Um, cause on average week, I would say I do about anywhere from 10 to 15, uh, non wedding orders, just depending on the week. It isn't always that many, but that's probably average. And then one to two weddings per weekend when it's wedding season. And that's plenty. And of course, then you get into like the holidays and you have almost no wedding cakes, but you have so many cookies, decorative and non-decorative that that keeps you hopping. So anyway. I don't know if you all even care about any of this. And so I just thought it'd be fun today if I popped on and off here to let you see what Fridays are like for me. And I'm assuming for most other cake decorators out there, um, not everybody does this many, but a lot of people probably do. And what's funny is I turn down people every single week, like eight to 10 people a week that want cakes and I just don't have time. So for any of you out there who want to learn and have thought about it, 
there are customers. There are customers. There are enough customers. There are enough people that order cakes, cupcakes, cookies, whatever your desire is. There is in this area, um, whether it's Nicholsville, Lexington, Wilmore, any of those places, Versailles, there are enough people here to fill your orders. So don't ever worry about, oh, there's so many cake decorators, nobody will order. Yes, they will. <laughs> so, because I always feel really guilty and I can't, but you just can't. You just can't do it all. And I used to say yes to everybody that came my way just because I wanted the orders. And I would, every night, I was up until 10 o'clock at least, if not midnight, and my hands would just ache. And I would wake up in the morning crying because my hands hurt so bad. Now I would wake up, they're just numb. But they don't hurt, so it's not so bad. Um, but anyway, so I will get off here. I'll quit rambling. I'm going to finish this cake. I'm going to work on some cupcakes. And like I said, I might pop back on here later, but it would just be a quick five minutes to show you kind of this is the end of the day and this is what it looks like when everything is said and done. Um, and then like I said, I'm going to brew a pot of coffee because I love coffee at night and watch some Netflix and fall asleep. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, and then I will also get on here and announce the giveaway for the cookies. I will do that because you obviously need to know who has to meet me in the morning at 10.30. Have a good Friday night, and I hope you all have a relaxing weekend. Bye.